we could have world war happening around us. And we have. I think what makes this period just ultimately hard is that. Good morning, guys. I'm going to get ready with you. I've been doing this little like get ready with me on TikTok. So let's do a mini get ready with me while we talk about my very busy day. I have just been loving my hair straight. Let's put on mini my hair. This is actually my daughter's, but we always start off getting this thing wet. I do put a little soap kind of just clean her off. Today is actually girls day. Happy girls day. I don't know where my daughter learned this from, but she has been talking about it ever since. Like she's like, mom, what are we doing for girls day? Like, what are you taking me to do? It's so cute. If you guys know my holy grail was HD forever, but it's like $47 a bottle. This L'Oreal from Target, I think costs no more than $10. In front of the foundations, they have all different shades. And I took, I always learned that you take over here to match. It's seriously such a flawless foundation. I feel like it blends on really nice. I definitely needed to be rematched, but I was a little nervous, like finding my own match i get target in sephora you can actually like go up to the employees and ask them to match you this chanel cream bronzer is probably my favorite and it has lasted so long like i've had this for like a year now this concealer is also from target it's by elf and this was my first true love for drugstore makeup like i don't think i've had a product this good i'm so obsessed with it Hi. Die. Something else I do is I take this palette. This is the Cabana Club by ColourPop. I love this pink. This bubblegum pink just is gorgeous. It's just so cute. And then I take my beauty blender and I use the bottom in. One time I couldn't find my blush and so I did this. I've never been the same. My grandmother would always just wear heavy blush. As long as I can remember. Like I'm talking the last 20 seven years and i feel like there's this new like love online for good blush and i always think of my grandma she's always just been the queen of blush i swear we have a ring for christmas i like to see like what's happening like if something's going down with my neighbor or just like close to me i like to see that like i want the notifications on but my problem is you get notifications for everything on the ring and I've tried to set it before anyone says like you can set it like I've tried to where it just shows like what's happening in the neighborhood as far as crime. So I get notifications all day long. 95% of the notifications I get, 95, are of people losing their dog. Does no one keep track of their dogs? Like I'm genuinely curious. I've had 14, 14 in the last hour. You can go in and do like sensitive of like pets. But when people lose their pet, they put it in the neighborhood. They do not put it in the pet. I want to know what's going on in my neighborhood, but at the same time, like, there's a lot for me to keep up on with these lost animals. My favorite way to cut my eyebrows out is with a Q-tip. I'm going to take your beauty blender and go right back over it. Cool, and Mace just got back from riding bikes. It has been so nice out. We went from it raining for a week straight to, like, the sun is out, and I totally forgot what it feels like to have sun out. Like, I was just like, I feel like it's never going to be sunny again here. And I've, like been having such a hard week i miss home so much and so when it's like gloomy like that it's just such a direct reminder i'm gonna take this dark color and on top and then i take the chapstick and i go back over with it because i love like that lip gloss look but my lips are severely dry here that like I have to use a good chapstick. I got this from Target and I have it on my countertop now because I go through so many Q-tips a day. Like, I'm like a Q-tip fanatic. Some highlight. I just really like the more, like a more... What am I trying to say? Cream look. I'm not really like a matte 
I like it to be glowy and dewy and then we can kind of take off that powder that we put on earlier we are ready and then my hair will be good all weekend I washed it yesterday so I work out Monday through Thursday I washed my hair on Thursday after my workout and I did like my whole routine like purple shampoo scrubs my hair products just my wash day which I actually made a video on TikTok so if you guys want to see like my whole hair routine I like to wash it on Thursdays style it Friday morning and then it's good all weekend Friday Saturday Sunday and then Monday will be my first day back at the gym so I'll go back to the gym and then I'll wash it then style it um, for Tuesday Wednesday and then Thursday wash day again so I like to wash my hair two times um, two times a week Kiko, I just went to go pick up the kids and I'm having a little bit of a hard time. I've been having hard times um, lately. You guys know I've shared my life with you guys for the last seven years. But this is something that I find so hard to share with you guys. And for the last seven years, vlogging my life has been so incredible for me. I never want this space to be something I like dread on doing or like I don't want to do so anyways and it's not like I don't want to talk about my hard days like I do like sharing everything with you guys but I've been experiencing some really tough days um this last year has been so incredible for me it has been such a blessing to my family we've gotten so much closer we've had so many amazing learning experiences We've had so many amazing opportunities. There's just been so many little things that we've got to experience together. And um, it has been the best two years of my entire life. And so that's why it's so hard for me to tell you guys that it's also been the hardest two years of my entire life. Because how do you have something so amazing and so low at the same time like to me it doesn't make sense it doesn't exist to me it just doesn't make sense and it's like I I don't even know what I'm feeling let alone like having to share with you guys and so it's just been easier for me to not really share the hard times of moving to California and being away from my family um but I will say it's been hard, but not, I always get over it and I always get through it and I see like the positives just outweigh, you know, outweigh my feelings. And so I am quickly redirected. But Christmas this year hit me like I can't explain with you guys. Um, I, you guys saw my Christmas vlog, but what you didn't see is I sat in this room and cried myself to sleep. So Christmas came and it was, I think for the first time, because my sister came up for Christmas last year. So it was the first holiday where family is everything, right? Like you don't care about anything, anything. Like I think the older you get, like it's not, Christmas is not... You know, it's just about being with family. And so I, I'm okay. I really am. I just, I've, I have hard moments and this so happens to be, I'm having one of those moments right now. And I decided the next time that I have this, I am going to pull out. I'm gonna talk to you guys about it. And I, I don't want you guys to get the wrong idea and the wrong impression that, you know, that I'm not doing okay because I really am. I just, a big piece of me feels like it's always gone um and I just I miss home I miss my sister I miss our days together like I don't think I ever went grocery shopping alone and now that's all I do is grocery shop alone something okay the grocery shopping did it to me I would never grocery shop alone and it's like I went from always having my best friend grocery shopping with me to I don't like to go to Target like I like to go to Target every once in a great while but it's not exciting for me how it used to be and it's not you know it's just not 
a place I like to go and hang out. I do go with Keikoa a lot. Like, we do everything together. But it's just not the same, you know? Like, I love him to death, but I, I do get overwhelmed with just having him and... I do have my moments of where I'm like annoyed and I want like my space and we are home together and we work together and so it's just it's a lot right Christmas is kind of just was my first kind of like splash of reality of like you're kind of just like alone I do love it also like I love my family my little family unit and I love how close it has brought us together and there's just so much more to it like I also have drama sometimes in my family back home and so holidays can feel a little weird so I do like the calmness of just doing my own thing but not with my sister like my sister is the one exception to the rule I I never get sick of her like we always have so much fun together I told me I, I do this and I usually just sit here and kind of do my thing and hide and I told myself the next time this happens I'm gonna pull out the camera because I feel like this is a big part of me that you kind of don't know and it's a big part of my journey of kind of like navigating these emotions right just like when we moved here like you didn't really see the steps that it took to get here as much as I shared and showed like there are so much more like a lot of you guys might not know this but I have a brother that it was like Elon Law, like my close little brother that I lived with. I shared a room with my entire life. We just did everything together and he is homeless on drugs, who knows where. He used to show up at my house incredibly not there. And my, my kids would be with me and they would come with me to answer the door. Ugh. So like I had a lot of situations where I felt I needed to just get away, right? And ultimately think of my children. Like I just want to give them the best life. When I was pregnant with Mace, we had a very serious situation happen in my family that um, it felt unrecoverable. Like it felt like something had happened where I just felt like I couldn't forgive certain people and I was pregnant with my son, like I was pregnant with Mace, and I just felt like I shouldn't be dealing with this. It took me a journey to get to where I'm at, is my point. And I want to show you the journey of continuing on. And I, again, again, I can't emphasize, emphasize this enough, is I don't want you to think that I'm not okay. And I don't want you to think that I don't like it here, because I love it here. But I also want you to know that I miss home. Ultimately, just miss my sister. We could have world war happening around us, and we have. But when we're together, it's like we're in a bubble. I think what makes this period just ultimately hard is that normally when I have hard, hard situations in my life, I'm always able to come out in like a positive light because of her because I have we change our perspective and we have always been like that like that is just one thing so great about us is we've always just changed our perspective and when I have these hard moments here I'm alone sorry guys I ran out of memory she's like my security blanket and so these times these hard times feel very significant to me because I don't have her I have Kikoa and he is the absolute best of life. Like he makes sure that I am so happy and taken care of. And I'm sure some people like feel this like with their mom, right? Like they, which I love my mom to death too. Like we've really been working on our relationship. We've been trying because these last few months it's also been extremely hard with her. Like we were on a no talking term. Like I wasn't talking to my mom for the last few months. And that's another weird thing to talk about because you guys know my love for mamas and being a mom and I think moms are just the greatest humans ever. And that same no, I love my mom so much, but we have so much trauma. The way that I am is I like to just not give any attention to things that are not serving me. With my mom, that's just what happens. It's like we get into situations where we don't see eye to eye and I just can't, I can't do it. But she has recently, which I might cut this out. I'm going to ask her if I can talk about this, but she has recently gotten sober again. 
and um, when she's sober, I feel like we could be best friends. It's amazing. So anyways, back to, back to what I was saying about my sister is that sometimes you just have situations in life where you just want to call your mama and you just like need your mom. And that's how I feel about my sister. But I know that I'll be okay. And I know that everything in life is temporary. And I recently heard something and I posted it. I think it's incredible. I don't know. I'd love for you to hear it. I feel like you might need to hear this tonight. Life might not look the way it used to look right now. Things might have changed dramatically, maybe even s slightly. And it might not look or feel the same. And that might be draining. And that might hurt because you don't understand and you don't know how to cope with the loss of the things that you used to have. But you have things now that are different. And you like them, but you're not really sure how to be happy because there's so much change that has surrounded you. I just want you to know that it's okay. You're moving through a period of your life that is ever-changing, and it's bringing you to a new place. And that's not a bad thing. We fight change all the time. But just remember that this feeling of uncertainty in this middle ground is not forever. Your life is constantly changing and we have hard times and I've had hard times. I've had amazing times and I'm gonna still, I'm the best times of my life still probably haven't happened. There's so much more to look forward to in this life and this is a hard moment that I'm going through and I think it's really good to recognize that. And sometimes it feels draining, like she said. It just, the change, you don't know how to ha be happy because there's so much change around you and that can be so draining. And you don't really know how to cope with it because it's new and you've never had to cope with it before. I just wanted to share that with you guys and I appreciate in advance so much the love that you will share. And I know you will because you guys are some of the coolest people. You guys help me just be like a better person a better mom you help me like work through my feelings and especially like in a time when i feel so alone as weird as this is to say like i feel like i have so many online besties that really care about my my well-being it's like i couldn't imagine going through this and just thinking nobody understands or nobody cares but like i have you guys all right i need to stop crying and uh, i love you guys so so much hi mommy hi. to cry. Crying Are you sad? I'm sad, but Why? also happy. Why are you sad? I just like miss people. Did you guys have a good Did pajama you day? On the mask? Huh? You guys had a good pajama day? Yeah. Alright, well that's it for today's video. My little ones are home. Thanks for listening. I really appreciate it more than I think you'll ever know. I love you guys so much, and I will see you all in our next video for another sun kiss day. Good night, guys.